As soon as you concern yourself with the good and bad of your fellows, you create an opening in your heart for maliciousness to enter. Testing, competing with, and criticizing others weakens and defeats you. The divine is not something high above us. It is in heaven, it is in earth, it is inside us. When you bow deeply to the universe, it bows back. When you call out the name of God, it echoes inside you. To injure an opponent is to injure yourself. To control aggression without inflicting injury is the art of peace. Heaven is right where you are standing, and that is the place to train. Never fear another challenger, no matter how large. Never despise another challenger, no matter how small. Large does not always defeat little. Little can become large by constant building. Large can become little by falling apart. Your spirit is the true shield. Do not fail to learn from the pure voice of an ever-flowing mountain stream, splashing over the rocks. The true meaning of the samurai is one who serves and adheres to the power of love. An attack is proof that one is out of control. When you lose your desire for things that do not matter, you will be free. Those who are possessed by nothing possess everything. Life is growth. If we stop growing, technically and spiritually, we are as good as dead. Do away with emperors, kings, and artificial government. Establish true equality. Abolish capitalism. Live in God's heart, simply and purely. The penetrating brilliance of swords, wielded by followers of the way, strikes at the evil enemy, lurking deep within their own souls and bodies. Loyalty and devotion lead to bravery. Bravery leads to the spirit of self-sacrifice. The spirit of self-sacrifice creates trust in the power of love. The Aikido I practice has room for each of the world's eight million gods, and I cooperate with each of them. The great spirit of Aiki enjoins all that is divine and enlightened in every land. Unite yourself to the divine, and you will be able to perceive gods wherever you are. May you be happy, may you be well. May you be peaceful and at ease. May you be filled with loving kindness and compassion for all beings. The art of peace is the religion that is not a religion. It perfects and completes all religions. Warriorship is none other than the vitality that sustains all life. Those who are enlightened never stop forging themselves. Failure is the key to success. Each mistake teaches us something. A warrior is always engaged in a life and death struggle for peace. 
can there really be a martial art in which one downs his attacker with a smile? Fill yourself with key, invite the attack. The purpose of training is to tighten up the slack, toughen the body, and polish the spirit. The Divine does not like to be shut up in a building. The Divine likes to be out in the open. It is right here in this very body. Each one of us is a miniature universe, a living shrine. Iron is full of impurities that weaken it. Through forging, it becomes steel and is transformed into a razor-sharp sword. Human beings develop in the same fashion. The heart of a human being is no different from the soul of heaven and earth. In your practice always keep in your thoughts the interaction of heaven and earth, water and fire, yin and yang. Do not look upon this world with fear and loathing. Bravely face whatever the gods offer. True prayer has no set form. One does not need buildings, money, power, or status to practice the art of peace. Heaven is right where you are standing, and that is the place to train. I'm not teaching you how to move your feet. I'm teaching you how to move your mind. Life is a divine gift. The divine is not something outside of us. It is right in our very center. It is our freedom. In good training, we generate light, wisdom, and heat, compassion. I want to know everything. My curiosity is boundless. I am one with the universe. Who can lift that? In Aikido, we train not to learn how to win. We train to learn to emerge victorious in any situation. Throw your partner by not throwing, pin him by not pinning. Instead of foolishly waging war, hereafter we will wage peace, the true purpose of Aikido. We will train to prevent war, to abolish nuclear weapons, to protect the environment, and to serve society. Do not try to guess how fast or slow a pitch will be. Just let the ball arrive at its own pace and be there to greet it. At the instant a warrior confronts a foe, all things come into focus. You cannot see or touch the divine with your gross senses. The divine is within you, not somewhere else. Bushido is not learning how to die. It is learning how to live. Your voice is a very powerful weapon. When you are in tune with the cosmic breath of heaven and earth, your voice produces true sounds. Every sturdy tree that towers over human beings owes its existence to a deeply rooted core. Do not concern yourself with the right and wrong of others. Do not be calculating or act unnaturally. 
do not look upon this world with fear and loathing. Bravely face whatever the gods offer. The moon appears to be really present, but if you strike the water, nothing will be there. Similarly, your opponent should find nothing solid to strike. True wisdom comes from intellectual education, physical education, ethical education, and key education. Progress comes to those who train and train. You are here for no other purpose than to realize your inner divinity and manifest your inner enlightenment. Be grateful even for hardship, setbacks, and bad people. Dealing with such obstacles is an essential part of training in the art of peace. War always brings death and destruction, and that can never be a good thing. Hear the soundless sound, and see the formless form. At a glance, read your opponent's mind, and attain victory without contention. The most perfect actions echo the patterns found in nature. There is nothing in the world more harmful than war, and more foolish than armament. Channel that tremendous force into the proper activity, and you will accomplish wonderful things. All at once, I understood the nature of creation. The way of a warrior is to manifest divine love. A spirit that embraces and nurtures all things. People possessing tremendous strength have a very difficult time controlling themselves and easily make enemies.